Uh. All right, welcome back once again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and this is continuation of Toy Soldiers, this is episode two. All right, we should be going into the Gewelt, uh, Gewelt yeah, Gehuvelt or some something chateau, and uh, our mission is to protect the chateau from enemy reserve sheltering, sheltering in the Polygon Wood. So. Uh, looks like the Germans are hitting us with some crazy mortars already. And we have a sniper tower at our disposal, so we'll take a look at that as well. And uh, a bonus objective is to destroy the German barracks with our uh, howitzer, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so let's go ahead and get some units set up. We have our 18-pounder ready to go. We're going to set up a uh, mortar position here to take out the German mortar position. And we'll also... Oh, no more... No, we ain't got no more money. Now let's take out these Germans, shall we? Auto fire mode. Or manual, rather. Haha! -ha. We should be able to destroy that. One more volley. Better do it. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So now it's time to take over control of the 18 pounder and we'll get some more cash. German barracks is right here, I believe. Uh, what the hell? Maybe that's it. I have no idea. <laughs> we'll just open fire on whatever moves. Okay. Oh, let's also get this, uh, what is that, machine gun up there? Maybe it's a mortar. I'm not sure. We'll hit it again and uh, look at our troops run across the field. It's pretty cool to see them uh, attack like that. Germans are coming from the right. Uh, I should get a machine gun ready here. I'll do that just before, because I know that mortar can't take them on itself. So we'll switch this to machine gun. We've taken it over from the Germans. And that should be okay for a little while. And let's go ahead and keep firing at this position. I love when those guys shoot that, that thing and they get flown up in the air. It's so funny. Okay, so we're, we're probably... Uh, Maybe one, one or two guys will sneak in, and that's no big deal. Uh, we'll set another machine gun up in the back to deal with it. I'll, uh... Yeah, never mind. I was going to take manual control. That guy, that guy got through, but he didn't. All right, so back to uh, manual fire on the howitzer again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and claim... <laughs> I'm going to say I did that. Um, blowing up of that uh, despicable German... I think it was a mortar or something. So let's see, we get extra points for blowing up the uh, German barracks, and it's a little bit out of range. Maybe we have to upgrade. It's going to be 1200 bucks, so uh, we'll save a little bit for that. So we'll switch over to, actually, let's show you guys the sniper tower. Now, the cool thing about the sniper tower is that if only one or two guys disappear, uh, escape through your um, your defenses, you don't have to you know spend $500 on a gun. You can just switch to the sniper tower and start doing that. Uh-oh. Oh, yes. Times three. Oh, okay, that guy's dead. A little hard to use, though. There's no, uh, you can't really zoom out too far and see exactly where you're looking. You'll just have to know where the enemy comes from. And I think you get about eight, eight or nine or ten rounds, and then you can just pick off dudes all day long. It's fine when you have just waves of infantry, and I think horses might come out at some point. Oh, this is the heavier infantry now. Zoom in a little bit more. There we go. These guys take two shots. Oh, missed that guy. Damn it. Oh, we were reloading. Alright. You did. What? They take three shots? Wow. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we'll try to hit this guy one more time. So that's the sniper tower for you. Alright. So we're uh, at the right amount to upgrade our howitzer. It'll take a couple minutes for that. A couple seconds, really. And machine guns are firing away. That's good. And our mortars firing away. That's good. Now, before this thing fires. Now, I did not know you could blow up the enemy barracks. So I'm learning something new today. Let's see what we can do. I think we missed. We'll try again. And it looks like they're coming for us next. Now the stables are to the left. Maybe we... Hmm. Well, that was a direct hit now, come on. Let's see, what else is there to blow up? Ah, we can only hit the... Uh... 
Yeah, we can only hit the barracks. Something strange here. Anyway, let's make sure those horses don't get by. Oh, looks like one of them did. That's right, we'll build a couple of machine guns here. No big deal, no big deal. Wow, we got three of them shooting now. Nobody should make it through. And as you can see in some maps, they do follow a pretty linear path once they get past your defenses, which is cool because, you know, if you can't if you can't stop them out on the field, you can definitely get them when they get closer to your base. <clears throat> so, let's see. I'm actually going to show you guys uh, a different menu here just so you can see what's going on. Uh, oh, tilt shift cam. Sweet. So look at this. Anybody ever see that tilt shift art before? Very interesting. Uh, if you don't know, look it up on Google and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's kind of like where they take, uh, they take real life objects and turn it into, uh, they make it look like miniatures by basically making the background blurry. So they'll take a city bus or a large train and, uh, take a photo of it blurry-like and, uh, that'll make it look like it's, um, like it's, um, fake or something. Or miniature. Alright, so this is just all the weapons in the game. And there you have your artilleries, your mortars, your uh, your cannons and machine guns and everything. But uh, what we're really going to look for is the rations dump, which is all of your accomplishments. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, destroy the rail yard and the supplies. Doesn't look like it tells you any... The, each mission has its own kind of, uh, <clears throat> you know, special goal, and then you get something for it. Like, for instance, you get hard tack if you score a ten times combo using one or two level... or level one or two anti-infantry gun. Uh, rations dump. Oops, not that's not what I wanted. Display case. Uh, no, I thought there was something else. Oh, achievements, that's right. Yeah, but that's Xbox crap. F you, Bill. Get out of here. All right, anyway, let's continue with the game, shall we? I uh, thought there would be a uh, menu section for this level on uh, what the bonus or what the objective was, but I guess not. Um, and I don't actually, I'm going to back out of this menu for just a second. So I thought we were supposed to destroy the uh, barracks for the bonus, and it looks like the enemy has like a, a small house over here. And as you can see, there's a, they're going to come with tanks at some point. I destroyed the homes over here. But to get that barracks, I don't know. I, uh, I'm a little unaware. Now, we're going to fire again at that. And they may have just fired. I'm not sure. Nope, they didn't. So we're going to go ahead and hit everybody hit coming out of that place. F yo daddy. We're going to do it again. In fact, we'll probably be able to just hold them all off with the artillery we have. Wow, this gun's so big, those guys are actually standing on it. That's awesome. Alright, so I think we got everybody coming out of there. I'm just going to fire this gun as far as we can at that barracks to see if we can destroy it. And if not, I'll just figure it out another way. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong because I'm a noob. So we'll finish this level up in just a couple of couple of minutes. Uh, they'll send more troops, horses, and then finally the, um, finally the uh, armored cars. Now, my only complaint on this game is if you play it for a while, sound starts getting a little screwed up. Uh, if you're in, like, an airplane or something, controlling it over the battlefield, eventually the airplane will go, the airplane will go silent, and, um, you know, it, it, the, the sound will get choppy or something, which, I don't know. I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's my computer, it might be the programming, but no big deal. So you can see all those guys getting taken out. Wow, that mortar's very accurate, too. Good continuation of fire with it as well. Now, I think what we'll do just to hold everyone back is just to go all out with that and we'll build another 18-pounder. Actually, we'll upgrade that to a, uh, what is it, Mark II? Mark V. No, six. Sorry, Mark VI. That's the name of that gun. All right. Yeah, I hate, I hate that wind noise, though. That's a little annoying to me. Oh, it looks like there's more after the vehicles. So you can see how picturesque it is as they run across the... Oh, snap. Oh, you can blow up trees. Nice. I knew that, but I didn't know any of these would blow up. Alright, so I think it's time we uh, maybe upgrade a couple of our guns to anti-tank gun. Oh, that's right. I thought it was 500 to upgrade. It's actually 7. Alright. 
guns firing away. Looks like we'll have a tank finally up there in the corner. Let's send our vehicles now. We'll make this uh, video a little shorter. These first couple of levels are a little repetitive just so you learn the uh, different types. So you can... types of uh, weapons, types of enemy infantry, and uh, really just kind of refine your skills before they really let you have it. So uh, here comes our armored car now. Oh, I knew it was going to get blown up. I knew it. That's why I didn't even uh, go into auto control. I knew it would blow up instantaneously. Okay, so... Oh, wow. They were hitting guys who were in the trenches I didn't even see. Oh, there they go. Looks like we actually have guys coming from the forest now. Oh, we can actually take these over. Did not know that. I suppose I could have uh, turned that into a mortar and hit whatever we had to hit from there. But I don't see... I don't know, I think that's the stables. There's the barracks. <laughs> that guy was on fire, holy crap. And here comes the final tank that the Germans had hiding. More hits and it'll be toast. There you go. So that's it. So thanks for watching episode two. Let's see uh, what we got. Now we didn't get that bonus ration and that's just because I had yet to figure it out. So I do apologize for not knowing what the hell that was. But uh, last German was finished off there in the corner. And uh, that should be it. So uh, victory for us. The Gelhuvat Chateau. And yes, our officers and men are bound together and victory is mine. So your score's totaled up and there's nothing but fireworks the whole time. Jesus. Alright, let's go ahead and continue then. And uh, let's see what uh, what the next mission has in store for us. Also, it lists your stats, everything from uh, enemies killed uh, to... <laughs> look at this, highest flying soldier. Three, 203 feet, wow. That's for a good, uh, good artillery hit right there. Uh, most kills with one sniper bullet, one. Uh, most money and everything like that so good times i'll see you guys in episode three keep watching and like comment and subscribe